In the beginning, there were only a few stations. It was called Spanish International Network, but more than a network, I think it was just a lot of small stations that were linked um, by, uh, by a group of visionaries and, and a few um, prepackaged novelas and programs from Mexico, and we were beginning to do news and produce things locally for our audience. In fact, when I started working in uh, April 9th of 1981, is when I started working at, at KMEX Channel 34 in Los Angeles, uh, we did not have a network newscast. The network newscast was created several months after that. Mm -hmm. um, so in the beginning, it was very small. I think they were s small stations, uh, lo considered low budget stations uh, with uh, low quality and, 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 and people, you know, the type of station that only recently arrived immigrants were. But, you know, we were really growing and developing, recognizing uh, the importance of the Hispanic community and, and, and also the, the future, understanding that there was a lot to be done for, for this community. And that's how the news department started developing and growing little by little. Uh, but for the first six years, I did work at the local level. I did, I did a little bit of everything. I, I was an anchor. I was a reporter. I did Los Angeles Ahora every day. It was Which a, you hosted. Yeah. At, yeah. The, at the same time, uh, you know, back then, the FCC required public service programs. It was a requirement. So we had one daily at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It was every day. So in the morning, I'd go out reporting. I would do my show. I'd come back and edit three stories because there were only two reporters, by the way. I failed to mention we only had two reporters and I was anchor. So it, it was really funny the way we used to put our newscast together because whatever fit, fit. You know, you, you put your newscast together and if you didn't have enough time to air everything that you had written, then you'd just stop wherever you ended. <laughs> so it's, it was very different. At the time, we didn't even have teleprompter. And when we did get a teleprompter, we didn't use it because there was no one there who knew how to run it. So, you know, it was primitive times, but I think when, when you have to um, work under those conditions, you learn so much because there's so much to do. Um, and I think that's one of the things that helped me, you know, learn on the job how to be a reporter, how to be an anchor, how to be a, a talk show host, how to do entertainment programs on the weekends because I did entertainment too. So Turn you become fire. a jack of all trades and hope that you will master them all. At least, <laughs> at least that's what we think when we want to come out and conquer the world as women.